Now, she promises to do her best. The former brownie, destined to be a future queen, will move from the palace to the campfire when she becomes a volunteer for the scouts. The Duchess of Cambridge, as we've been hearing, is going to be patron of four charities. What difference, then, will her involvement mean? Let's speak to Nick Barton. He's chief executive of one of the charities, Action on Addiction. Hello, Nick. Good morning. Joining us as well, scout leader Heather Baker and 10-year-old Cub Scout Patrick Simpson. Hello to you both. Morning. Welcome morning. to the programme. Heather, if I can start with you. Uh, the Duchess of Cambridge saying she's going to be a volunteer. Mm -hmm. So what are we expected to do? Um, as a volunteer, she's a flexible volunteer. So what that means is that she's able to give as much or as little time as she's uh, got available because obviously she's a very busy lady. Mm -hmm. um, and she'll be going along to interact with the young people and do uh, run programme and events with the young people. Mm. And Patrick, you're a, you're a sixer now, you're in charge of a six. Yeah. So if, um, if the Duchess was to come and visit your troop, so to speak, what would, you, what would, you, what would be the best place for her to start doing things? Uh, well, the arts and crafts, because uh, as you saw on the telly, um, she was doing lots of painting and stuff, and we saw that she was quite good at it, so mm. the first place would be arts and crafts. Natural talent, good stuff. Mm. Okay. So let's talk to Nick Barton, who's here from Chivy Executive of uh, Action on Addiction, which is another of the Duchess's charities that she's supporting. Did she come and visit your charity? Uh, well, she did come and visit a, uh, one of our services, a mm -hmm. service for women only called Hope House in, in London, and that's after we had been invited to come and talk to her about addiction and about the work of the charity. Right. What does it mean to you having the Duchess of Cambridge as a I think place? having somebody uh, uh, with such a high-profile figure immediately attracts attention to the cause. Uh, immediately um, makes the work that we do more uh, accessible and hopefully will attract su a further support. Because it gets the photographers in every time she visits, presumably, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it, it does, yes. Uh, it, it's putting you on the map mm -hmm. uh, in a very big way, which mm. you, for, for which we're very grateful. And Heather, similarly for the scout movement, it's, uh, it's a big pub publicity boost and a big morale boost. I mean, the, are they short of numbers at all in the scout movement? Yeah, we've got 33,000 young people on the waiting list to join scouts. Right. And we, you know, we are incredibly short of le leaders. So it's really, it's really helpful that uh, the Duchess has been able to volunteer, like I say, to highlight the fact that you don't have to be able to commit to a regular night each week or have lots of free time. Um, for example, I work full time, I've got a young family, and I'm still able to commit to scouting and give as much or as little time as I'm able to each week. Mm. And Patrick, why do you like being a Cub Scout? Well, because um, I have some friends in Cubs and I don't usually see them every week. I see them once a week, so it's nice to socialise with them mm. and talk to them. Mm. And earn some badges as well. You've got, yeah. got loads of badges. badges there. Yeah. What have we got there? Well, uh, I've never three of them. I've got Art and Craft, yep. my religious badge, uh, Night Away badge, my global badge, and I've got some, another global badge, outdoor, creative, and my promise badge. Mm, very good. Uh, and it, but it, it's really, it's sort of ironic that there's so many people interested and young people want to get involved. Mm -hmm. People, I suppose, are worried about the responsibility, Heather. Yeah, within the Scouts, we've got a really good support network and structure there for our leaders and our volunteers. So there's always lots of backup and support. So the Duchess will be working as part of a team of, of volunteers within the group that she's based with. Um, so there'll be lots of support and help there for her and training available. Mm -hmm. And Nick, tell us a little more about Action on Addiction, because it has a couple of residential centres, doesn't it, in England, but it also trains Yes, yes it does. It works in a, what we call a multi-dimensional way. Uh, in other words, we we treat people but we also like to learn from treating people how we can improve that and then we train addictions counsellors uh, to uh, work in the field across the country uh, and even from abroad some of them. And lots of people come from all over the UK although your centres are based in England. What do they primarily come for? What, what's the biggest problem? Uh, well it, it's both alcohol and drugs principally but often there are other things involved as well like so, some people are, have been involved in uh, domestic abuse or they've got eating disorder problems uh, or um, uh, things that relate, health problems related to addiction. And so many different charities that uh, she could have chosen from. How do you think you caught her eye, so to speak? Well, that's impossible for me to say. I, all I know is that she did a lot of background research. Uh, and uh, I think one of the things that stood out for her was our involvement with children. We have a program called Moving Parents and Children Together for, for children whose parents are addicted. Uh, and I think that was something that uh, also interested her. 
Mm. And, and actually, interestingly enough, uh, we use some artwork in that program. For oh, children, do you? So. Because, well, that's another of the causes she's, she's promoting. Yes, I'm very it? interested to talk to the art room, actually. Yes, the art <laughs> group in Oxford. To see if we can match up. Yeah, so that'll stuff. be interesting. I mean, do you know when, when the Duchess is going to visit? Sure. No, we don't. We're just waiting to hear those sorts of things. Okay. Very and, yeah, I mean, she was a brownie herself, so she might be able to teach you a trick or two. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You think? <laughs> All right. Because okay. he knows quite a lot of judging by all the badges. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for coming Thank in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you.